So we wanted to show you how to uh, download Zamanat's application, how to sign up, and then how to use it. So let's do it. To install it, you will have to go to the Play Store if you have an Android phone. Otherwise, you will have to go to the App Store if you have an iOS. So let's go to the Play Store and um, uh, in Android phone, and then look for Zamana. The correct spelling is Z Z A M A N A T. So look for it, and you should be able to see it on the top. So click on it, and then install it. Once once you completely install it, you will actually see it on your home screen. Or you, um, or if you don't see the shortcut, you will have to go to the drawer and then look for Zamana somewhere in the applications drawer. So open it. Uh, in this screen, you will you will actually see that you have an email. Um, um, you are required to enter an email and password. Uh, if you already have an account, please go ahead and do it. Otherwise, uh, you will have to sign up. So so let's go to sign up. Click on sign up. Enter a new email address. I will say my email is. You can you can put in any email address, and then set a new password. Uh, in the next step, you will you will be asked to uh, enter your first name. So I will say my first name is Sheer. My last name is Rahim. My gender is male country you can set it any country or it will um, it will select the appropriate country based on your career and then the uh, the country code number and then your phone number so I will say okay this is my phone number and then create so that so that's all you need to enter in order to sign up to the monad once you are fully signed up you'll see um, um, you'll see a ribbon saying please verify your account and the reason it says because you will have to go to your email account. You will probably receive an email from us. Then go to your email account and then click on the uh, email link that you would see in there and then sign up for it. Once you fully sign up, um, uh, you will no longer see this ribbon and then you would be able to add friends to your account. So currently I don't have anything, uh, I don't have any friends and, and this is actually the list of friends that I can add. Currently the system is limited to only seven friends or family members but then in the future we will have it unlimited uh, based on based on their needs and requirements that, that our clients may have. So once you fully signed up you will then see um, your timeline which which will have the feed from your friends and on the top this is this is where, where you actually add friends so so these are my friends and if I click on any of them I can simply cancel my friendship by just clicking uh, uh, on this button and then say okay I no longer want to be a friend to this friend or to this guy and then uh, if you would like to add somebody else you you will not probably see all of these people or any of these people uh, you will have these plus buttons so, so instead of click of uh, simply click on the plus button and then enter the email of the um, uh, of the person so let's say I would want to add a person that's uh, and the um, the person's email is this um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that friends are only added by email addresses so you cannot add any person by name or by phone number you only need to know their email addresses and then add them since I already have the person added with me so, that, so therefore it's not working otherwise the other guy will receive a notification that okay this, this person wants to add you and then you can send them a notification this is where you see feed or activities from your friends so let's say I'm with um, um, something happens so so this is a quick share button it means that it, uh, you don't have to write anything it has predefined messages and with a single tab it will write a complete message for you and it will share the message with your friends or your family mem uh, uh, or your family members so let's say I click on the quick share button and then I say uh, there is a flood so I click on floods and then it posts the message on behalf of me and then, it's, uh, then uh, it simply notifies all of my friends or family members that Shersha Mark himself saved during the floods. Or let's say something else happens. Let's say there is a traffic accident and I don't have the time to call my friends or my family members. I simply click on the accident button and then it shares that okay, um, 
that Shirsha is stuck in traffic and he has specified accident being formed. So, so, so these are basically the predefined messages and things that you can share with your family, such as we, we can have health, we can, uh, at the same time we can, have, um, we can have party or let's say gathering with colleagues. So let's say I'm with my colleagues and I don't have the time to call my parents and, and notify them that okay I'm with my colleagues. So, so what I can do is that I can simply click on this button colleagues and then it will notify my parents that that Shirsha is at the party he has specified gathering with colleagues being formed. So, so this is basically how the timeline works and then, and then you can leave a comment or you can say okay uh, I've seen this thing so, so uh, you can click on the I button that we have here. So apart from quick share we also have um, posts so let's say you don't want the predefined messages you want them to be your way so what you can do is, is click on this button on the top and then write your message your own way let's say I want to type it myself so I would say I am staying with friends And then I can uh, simply choose a, um, uh, a category, let's say colleagues, and then I can say post. You can also share your location if you would want to share your location, or you, uh, if you would like to share a photo, you can also share a photo. Otherwise, you can simply write the message and, and, um, uh, and simply share it with your friends. So this is most of the timeline. The second best feature in Zamanat is tracking. And let's say you want your family, or let's say you want your friends, to track you while you travel from one point to another and then you simply give them access but then we have two different sections in uh, uh, in the tracking uh, uh, section the first thing is called my trip the other one is called my life tracks and and I will be telling you the the differences in um, uh, in a very short time so so my trip is actually when you want someone to track you uh, in a specific destination so 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 let's say I want to travel from this point to that specific point. So let's say I want to, uh, to travel from this point till there. And then I simply hold and press and then it sets my destination and says, okay, I want to travel from, there, uh, from here to there. And it's a, it's a specific destination, a specific travel or a specific route that I want to take. And then it will track me and it will draw a line all the way I go there. Um, uh, so, uh, and then once I reach there, it will close the trip automatically and uh, um, the app will remove those people that are tracking you from the list once you reach the destination. So, so let's say I want to add people, I've added my destination and, and then I click on uh, this, this check button. And then it shows me the list of friends that I have. Let's say I want to give access to, um, let's say, free. And then I say, OK. Um, and once I do it, it shows me people that are currently tracking me um, uh, in this list. I can add multiple people, and those multiple people will be able to track me at the same time using their smartphones or maybe uh, logging into the web view that we have or to the website that we have. Um, I will be showing you how the tracking system works, how, um, how they will see you in, um, uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, for now, let's focus on how you can give access to others. So this is my trip, and this is how you actually give others the access to track you. Uh, at the same time, um, we have life track. And it's important when you don't have a specific route, or you don't have a specific destination. So, so let's say... Um, I click on here, I click on the plus button in the My Life Tracks, and then I don't, I'm not required to set a destination. All I need to do is simply click on the people that I would like to track me, and then click on the stick mark button, and then they will get the access to track me live all the time. So there is no specific destination, there is no route or there's no specific route and no s a line will be drawn on the map while I travel so so and this feature can be actually used by um, um, uh, by transportation companies or by delivery companies or by uh, by parents tracking their children so that's pretty much it and and um, um, to 
To remove someone, all you need to do is simply click on the cross button that you have next to the user. And, it, and, and then the person will be removed and they will no longer have access to tracking you. And now is the time um, to show you how, how you actually track others. So the first one was the timeline. The second one was when you allow others to track you. And then we have the third part, which, which actually is more of a, more of a thing that, 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 al that allows you to track others. Uh, but before you can use this feature, you will need to um, uh, ask other people to give you the access to track them. So let's say I have my friend with me and uh, they, they have uh, given me access to track them live. So, so since I already have the access, um, all I need to do is click on the refresh button here and then click on the filter and then say okay, currently I have or I'm tracking one person so click on the name of the person and then you should be able to see the person that okay this is the guy this is the name of the person and I'm currently tracking the person live uh, currently this this, um, this specific guy is not uh, having any movement so that's why it's static but uh, you can track people and then it will show you the live movement of the person uh, and then, uh, if you, um, if you would have more than one person in the uh, uh, in the tracking system, and if you don't want to track a specific person, you can simply click on the uh, cross button in the eye, and you will no longer see the person tracking. Uh, so this is, and then we have the last part, which is more of a notification centers, and and you should be uh, familiar with it by using other apps. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So since you now have an account and you are fully registered and your account is verified, you can enjoy it and you can use it you know, for the lifetime. Uh, if you come up with any questions, if you have your feedback, we would love to hear it back from you and we would love to bring the changes that you would recommend. So have a good day.